kind of. Researchers use various methods, including surveys and behavioral tests, to identify and measure synesthetic experience. These assessments help in understanding the nature of synesthesia, but they're in no way comprehensive and it may even be problematically invalidating if someone who experiences something really unusual fails to pop on the neurological evaluations just because their senses are even more outlying than researchers have taken time to describe. How do I explain synesthesia to others? Explaining synesthesia can be challenging as it is a subjective experience. In fact, it can be so exhausting and invalidating that we completely give up on relating closely to anyone but the most open-minded. Comparing it to a blending of the senses or describing the consistent associations you perceive can help others understand, kind of, but realistically, you have to develop a certain emotional toughness to handle the micro-rejection sensation created when the people around you literally cannot understand. But you'll find your way through. You already found your way here.